Welcome back. In today's episode of Oxygen Not Included, I'm going to be conducting the duplicate hamster wheel experiment. And what is the duplicate hamster wheel experiment? That actually comes from Charlie over here. It says, can you make a torture chamber filled with duplicates with a stress response of vomitor and build no extra restrooms and fill it with manual generators and batteries just to see how much power they can generate and how much water they will also expel in that amount of time. DX also says, the funny thing is that's the only way to make a truly sustainable sustainable base at the moment. I won't, don't think I'll be able to get to the full sustainability in this one episode because that'd be a little bit too complex. What I'm going to be taking a look at, at is the power that is going to be generated by a duplicate over a given amount of time and then measuring to see if that is any different at all. Because what you have is with several duplicates down here is they have different power abilities and apparently that's going to then contribute to how much power they can generate. However, I want to see this in real practice because I've done some static tests where I don't necessarily think that that's the case. We're going to find out though. We're going to find out because we're going to be able to measure it. We're going to be able to measure it in the reports, which is the power usage over here. You can see that first thing right there. Your colony has created X amount of kilojoules right there of power in that course of a day. That's where I'm going to be measuring that. We'll also be able to see uh, the liquid because you can see that the chamber's down there and just count it up. So that's what I'll be doing there. And that's going to be the extent of the experiment as well. So we're going to be learning some cool fundamentals to see if it is truly possible for that one duplicate to be come self-sustainable and if so can you then multiply that out over several duplicates by the way a lot of you guys were talking about the cell painter i finally got it working on my uh debug mode settings for whatever reason that was not showing up for the longest time spent the weekend a couple hours trying to figure it out and i finally did figure out what was wrong more or less, I just smashed a bunch of keys on my keyboard until something happened, and it did. So I got it working, and I've created my Aperture Laboratories here to conduct these experiments. Ultimately, I think this test laboratory here is going to hopefully provide a much more controlled environment to truly measure the results of things in a synthetic way. All right, so my lucky duplicate today is going to be Ren. And Ren is my chosen one because his athletic ability is zero, his learning ability is zero, and he also is a vomiter with no other sort of sub traits right there that it's going to work against him. So Ren, you are going to be my duplicate of choice. And everybody else, well, your sacrifice will be for the greater good. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna bring him in here and you'll get started. Come on, Ren! Get over there! Perfect! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give Ren here a bunch of oxygen so he never suffocates. There you go. And hopefully that's a nice, good temperature. Awesome, there we go. 290 degrees Kelvin is the right way to go right there. Also 20 degrees Celsius, and this will be good. And I'm losing all of my oxygen because it's going through these airlocks, apparently. All right. Every time we try to do one of these experiments, another thing shows up. Man, I... I certainly made a lot of oxygen. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going on here. Ren is running on this wheel, and you can see how many joules he's creating in this day right here with that number that is continuing to climb. So that is just going up into a huge amount of batteries above. The total amount of time in a single cycle is 10 minutes. Therefore, that is 600 seconds. Now, of those 600 seconds, 525 of those are in the daytime. 75 seconds is the nighttime. So just so you know, the amount of uh, theoretical, the maximum that you can have as far as kilojoules right there. Ren, you keep farting, dude. You're messing me up. I've had to like start this thing over several times. <laughs> um, is that you can create 210 kilojoules at 400 watts, which is how much this manual generator can put out. However, the other thing that we have to be aware of is that jobs, or shall we say the efficiency of Ren's, his athletic ability should affect that. However, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that we're going to see that number change. Uh, reason being is because I'm not sure the alpha currently takes that into effect as far as their athletic abilities. I know it tells you, but the only way to do this is a real life test. So that's what we're going to plan out hopefully over the next 10 cycles to see if it truly makes sense to have your best people, uh, your highest athletic people to run on the power generator right there. I had to pick the, I had to pick the one that just sits here and farts all day long, didn't I? <laughs> We'll have some lice loaf, man. <laughs> this little horn. Oh, man. Ren, you're killing me, bro. Oh, and he stops to eat right there. All right, so what was his report? Uh, the previous day, you can see that he created 206 kilojoules right there. His athletic ability went from zero to two throughout that day. 
So let's go ahead and see how this works as he continues on over the next few days. All right, so here we go. Start of day two. You can see now Ren is bladder easy. Start, starting to need to go to the bathroom here. He'd really appreciate a toilet. Oh no, he made a mess. <laughs> All right, so for the first sort of weird thing, let's just see how much polluted water Ren expelled. All right, just because you really want to know this fact, uh, Ren expelled 1.7 kilograms of, uh, of piss. I mean, seriously, what did you do today? Like, of all the experiments I can do, this is the one I chose. <laughs> I, put a, I put a gassy duplicate in an enclosed box, forced him to run on a generator, and counted the quantity of his piss. Why not? <laughs> Actually, this guy was, went beast mode all day long. Uh, don't mind everybody else who's dying down below. Shh, don't, don't mind that. Way to eat right at the end of the day, dude. You're making my job work out really good here. I think Lindsay is eating a corpse of Harold. That's, that, that's kind of awkward. Who thought the guy in the box would actually be the humane one? I personally didn't think so. <laughs> this torture chamber's looking better than everybody else's fate. Uh, so that was 205 right there. Was his second result. I think I'm gonna need some more batteries, by the way. So let's go ahead and make some more batteries real quick, just so I don't have to... I don't want to mess any of my results up. I need, like, enough storage for 10 days. Yeah! Look at that go! Mmm! Uh-oh. Getting a little laggy here. Oh my. I think I have a lot of batteries. Alright, that should be enough batteries. Don't you think? I think so. Oh my, don't lag. Whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, crap, now the game crashed. Uh, too, ma too many batteries. Just a few bit. Too, too, too many. All right, so here's where I'm at, guys. Unfortunately, this game crashed on me, honestly, three times. It was an absolute pain in the butt. Tried to make a ton more batteries. That caused it to crash. Tried to speed the game up a little bit beyond what it was able to do. And the game crashed yet again. But I'm on the same sort of cycles right here. So for the last three cycles, I have seen no real increase in the amount of kilojoules that Ren has been able to produce right there. Even though his athletic ability is increasing. Aha! Here's exactly what I wanted to see. Let me take a break here because I want to be able to measure precisely how much he is vomiting right now. And hopefully he doesn't go to the bathroom. Come on. Don't go to the bathroom. Perfect. All right, so I can measure this number right here. So this is the the vomit number. I think they vomit quite a bit. All right, so here's the two data points I have. Try to take this with a serious face, right? The amount of piss Ren was able to expel was 1.7 kilograms on his first pass right there. I think it was 1.5 on his second pass. <laughs> and then on the uh, vomit, if you subtract, if you subtract the piss from the vomit, you are left with 19.4 kilograms right there. So you get a lot more out of vomiting than you do out of going to the bathroom. Interesting data results, right? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> ah, yes, another data point right there. <laughs> all right, well, Ren here is just about done nearly filling up all of these batteries right here. I have a lot of data points, and quite frankly, I've been staring at this guy for just about an hour now, watching him <laughs> fart, piss, and vomit, and then writing down, like... <laughs> <laughs> the quantities of his bowel movements. So I'm done and I'm gonna also give you some results here of what has happened um, as far as how much energy and stuff like that he has created. All right, so let's take a look at something really interesting. Ren here has been doing nothing but running on this wheel for a, quite a long time now. And look at his athletic ability. It is now his highest uh, attribute. So he is now athletic ability of 8 right there. So movement speed of plus 80%. This guy's speedy. And uh, tinkering has also gone up quite high and construction has also gone up high, quite high. So there might be something to the duplicate doing one particular job and that they continue to get better at that job. Alright, so here are the results of my test right here. It took place over 8 cycles, which is uh, enough, I think, for this test right here. 
and you can see here that it is 600 seconds right there 525 of daytime and then 75 of night if we take a real quick look at how much power can be generated um, from a hamster wheel theoretically 400 watts over 525 seconds of daytime which is when they'd actually be running has a theoretical maximum of 210 kilojoules so we're just looking at power right now and my results even though his level in athletics has been increasing the kilojoules was not increasing at this current point and what i think is is that that multiplier whatever it is is currently just in the alpha stage and isn't used so the output of watts is restricted by just what they have as far as the hamster wheel right there so having the highest power person actually work on the power wheel itself doesn't seem to make any difference at all in the current alpha state i think that'll change sometime in the future here because what we can see here is the average output of ren was 196 kilojoules right there so that is throughout the entire day another way of looking at the same number is to convert it in the average watts um so what you have to do then here multiply from kilojoules to joules so multiply by a thousand and then divide it by the time so then you get it down to a watt so 327 watts is its average over the entire day there was a lot of comments that were talking about people who were looking at the uh, watts per kilogram of oxygen in my last test right there and I was just kind of simplifying that into the amount of watts like peak watts you need however if you measure over a larger period of time to take the actual joules and then divide them over that time you get the average watts is what some people were looking for in the results and that isn't what I gave them I gave them the peak wattage so those numbers could be slightly different but you know what there's going to be another test uh, comparing hydrogen and oxygen uh, algae production of oxygen in order to figure that stuff out again there will be a third hydrogen experiment at some time in the future but just so you guys know that's kind of the number right there so that's the average watts i guess but what you really get is 196 kilojoules which is the number we want to use so by comparison to a hamster wheel you can see that the coal generator which can run the entire 6,000 seconds of a day will actually produce 360 kilojoules so quite a bit more than your hamster wheel both theoretical and then actual and then the hydrogen generator again can run 24 7 without any manual interruptions and that will produce 480 kilojoules in a day at its maximum if it's running all day and you have a ton of hydrogen around all right, so let's take a look at the other important measurable output of Ren, which is his bowel movements, except for his farts, which there were many of. Um, so we got piss values and we also got vomit values as well. So let's go ahead and just mark uh, vomit as yellow and then peas and like more of a green, huh? Just for the sake of it. There we go. Pisses and vomits. <laughs> um, now, the first thing you need to know is that uh, the amount of piss that is generated isn't a static number and the amount of vomit isn't a static number it can be higher and it can be lower depending on the day and depending on apparently how sick or like bladder full Ren had to have been at that moment however we can then average those numbers out which is what i did right up here all right so on average Ren pissed 1.6 kilograms of contaminated water however in a much higher volume he vomited 17.7 kilograms so you got to stress them out so that they vomit in order to get a meaningful quantity of polluted water out of your duplicate all right, so my result for the entire days right there was 14.6 kilograms. Now, again, that is kind of an average, keeping in mind that he doesn't necessarily vomit every single day in this result. I think the very first day he doesn't vomit, and I think the second day he doesn't vomit, but from after that point, he was vomiting every day, uh, even at one point twice in a single day right there. So you can see how that kind of averaged out. I feel like that's a safe number and not too high of a number as we start to look at the fertilizer maker and blossoms to see if it's possible to self-sustain. All right, so if we take a look at the fertilizer, we know it takes 120 watts. So if we take that number and we multiply it by 600 to give it a full day, we'll end up with joules. Divided by 1,000, we end up with kilojoules, therefore 72 kilojoules to run the fertilizer maker 24-7. We know that on average, our duplicate is able to create 196 kilojoules, therefore leaving us with a remainder of 124 kilojoules. However, that same duplicate will then also have to harvest some stuff throughout the day. So there is a chance chance if they were the ones to be doing the harvesting that that number would then also drop however 
maybe you just have one hamster and then some other guys that also do the harvesting on the side so you got the one hamster dude who's just doing all the work to support the rest of the colony essentially all right so moving on from there we know at 150 grams per second the fertilizer maker can consume 90 kilograms of contaminated water a sink a day therefore it can output 72 kilograms of fertilizer in a single day right there which is quite a bit However, we don't have 90 kilograms of contaminated water. How much do we have on average? 14.6. So when you multiply that out, you end up with 11.71 kilograms of fertilizer every single day from your one duplicate. So therefore, if we take the amount of fertilizer we can make divided by how much it takes to have one of those blossoms growing, we can then determine how many blossom plants we can have planted constantly which then tells us how many duplicates we can support day to day, which is nearly three duplicates. I'm guessing this number could be a little bit higher if you're lucky and you can support all three duplicates continuously. So there you have it guys, that was an interesting experiment, a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. It turns out that yeah, that's actually a very viable solution to get a little extra power and to run some fertilizer to some plants and support duplicates. I like it. That's that that was a good. That was a really good experiment. So thank you guys for that recommendation. And also thank you guys for all of your support here recently. It's been absolutely off the charts and you guys are leaving me tons of recommendations and comments and all this good stuff. Thank you guys so much for that. It's absolutely insane. Um, and if I've earned your subscriptions, then thank you so much for that. Uh, it's been absolutely, like I said, mind blowing um, recently because I've never experienced anything like this. So thank you guys so much for that. I, 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 I'll stop saying that. I'll let you guys go and I'll see you again next time. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out. Oh, and for today's extra content, I suppose. <laughs> I can't believe they're still kicking. Look at this. Bubbles down here. They're eating people. Oh, they're eating Lindsay. That's what. Poor Lindsay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace.